First, I wanted to say thank each and every one of you for coming, hanging out with us here in Basel. This has been an, an amazing event for me. There's so many great talks, and it's really excited to hang out with the community for a couple of days. A little bit about this particular event. We had 99 keynotes, breakouts, and lightning talks. It's an impressive number of discussions covered in two days. And if you weren't able to make each and every one of those 99, I highly recommend you watch them on the YouTube video channel once they're released. We are up to 67 member companies in the Cloud Foundry Foundation. We are up to seven certified platforms for 2017. And we had 865 of you here at this particular event, which uh, if you're keeping track from last year at Frankfurt, that's nearly a 50% growth year over year, which is really, really impressive trend. And it speaks a lot to the momentum here in Europe. To recap what is new and the announcements we made yesterday. We have the container runtime, which we talked a little bit about in uh, the, the previous demos. Thank you, Megan, for demoing Kubo, which is now on parity with application runtime. Both of these are supported by Bosch, but that means you can run your workload, either just containerized workload and container runtime, or run your cloud native application on application runtime, both in parity within Cloud Foundry. We also announced yesterday the Foundry launch. If you are trying to find a training partner, a service, add-ons, distributions, and many more, that is now available on the website, on the Foundry, and we will look Watch that space for more and more of those coming online in the near future. Out of the gate, we're starting with 600. That number is important because that shows the depth and the breadth of the ecosystem around Cloud Foundry that already exists. We recapped the progress that we've done with the developer training and certification program around Cloud Foundry with nearly 10,000 people enrolled, trained, and certified since June, I want to see that number doubled by summit in April, maybe tripled even. I'm going to put that out there right now. We also announced that Fujitsu is the latest certified provider. K5 is now a certified Cloud Foundry distribution, bringing the total to seven certified providers so that you can get Cloud Foundry, a commercial distribution of it, anywhere in the world. Watch this space for an eighth. Come on online hopefully later this year with the announcement of SUSE Cloud Foundry. We've had a tremendous amount of velocity over the last year. And I couldn't be more excited to talk about the number of commits in the last 24 months, the number of pull requests across nearly 500 repos. I show this number not to really brag about the velocity and the amazing work that's going on because it's there, but also to talk about the fact that in just a few short years, let's not forget that Cloud Foundry isn't quite three years old yet as an open source technology. We've had a tremendous amount of potential here, and this is just getting started. So we're one of the fastest growing open source projects in terms of velocity. That's just going to continue. For those of you around the world, there's over 200 meetup groups with nearly over 70,000 people participating. It's a huge opportunity to continue this conversation year round. And if there's not a meetup near you, start one, and we're happy to support that from the Cloud Foundry Foundation and amplify that and get people there. It's important to have this potential, this opportunity for each and every one of you to continue the conversation, share ideas, and collaborate about where we should go in the future. We announced a few new members, American Airlines, Home Depot, Volkswagen, and FluxDB and ComSysto are the most recent to join. They've joined uh, a few others from just 2017 alone. 
We're so excited to see so many new members. Important note, I skipped a slide, but important note that across our membership, over 40% of our member base are now end users. So it's really exciting to see end users like American Airlines and Home Depot joining the ranks in Volkswagen to be part of the conversation, be part of the contribution, and be an active member of the community. That's what's really exciting to see the growth, the interest in open source. And finally, I want to say thank you. Thank you to each and every one of you for attending and coming for our ambassador program that was just started about 18 months ago and has really continued to thrive. Thank you for all of your participation as well as your leadership in our community. Thank you to our contributors and our committers and those of you that continue to make Cloud Foundry the best possible technology that it can be. For the 99 speakers, the brave souls that got up here on the main stage or had breakouts or lightning talks, thank you. It means a lot to have such rich content to choose from. And for the members and the vision that you bring to the table, we appreciate all of your feedback. We love feedback. Our sponsors, we couldn't do this without you. We are a very small nonprofit. And as such, these events are 100% reliant on our sponsors and attendees. So we appreciate each and every one of you for making this possible. And a special thank you to Daniel Jones of Engineer Better, Sarah Lenz from NE9s, for the amazing unconference opportunity that you hosted and ran. It really gives everyone an opportunity to have a discussion, collaborate, and continue to build on our amazing community. As a reminder, all of our amazing sponsors, again, that make this all possible, including the food, which is also important at a conference. Uh, we had a lot of news come out this week, or actually since yesterday, in the last 24 hours. Uh, there's a lot of excitement and growth about Cloud Foundry, about the container runtime, and the momentum we've had in the community. And there's been a lot of great tweets and social media. Uh, love to see that Cloud Foundry was trending. That makes me excited about what we're doing here. And finally, a huge thank you to the team the support team here at the conference center, the events team, uh, as well as the foundation team and all of the supporting staff. None of this would be possible without each and every one of you. And it's what allows me to just show up and hang out here. So thank you. And finally, if you're wondering, what am I going to do for the next six months, there's another summit in, in Boston. Um, coincidentally, times right after the Boston Marathon for you runners, you can do both. You can go to the marathon and you can come to summit. But join us for the next North America summit will be in Boston in April. And finally, I want to leave you with a few th thoughts. I'd love everyone to get certified, everyone to become a certified Cloud Foundry developer. Grow the community. Join in, participate, either through being a full-time committer, a contributor, or just being a vocal advocate in the local communities about it. And finally, champion adoption in your organization. Champion Cloud Foundry. Really continue to help Cloud Foundry thrive in each and every one of your organizations. And with that, I'll see you in Boston. Have a great afternoon.